So here you have your proximal convoluted tubule, the loop of Henle, and the distal convoluted tubule. Okay. So in the proximal tubule, so the idea here is we want to filter out these solutes. The things like glucose and whatnot that are helpful, we don't want to urinate them out, we want to retain them. Um, but also we want to keep sodium balance, we want to keep pH balance. You know, we don't want to have, to, we want to keep our osmotic balance at the same time. So, here in the, in the proximal tubule, um, we're going, all that filtrate is now inside the nephron. This whole thing we call it a nephron. So then we're going to take our sodium, amino acids, and glucose, basically the, the solutes that we want, and we're going, to, we're going to pass them through and put them back into the blood. The cells of the nephron are going to transport them into the cell either by um, either active or passive transport of some kind, and then transfer them back into the blood. Water is going to naturally follow the solutes because that's what it does, right? So when we say that ADH, uh, it's mostly the distal tubule, but when we say something caused increased sodium reabsorption, what are we really saying? Well, we're saying that we just transport more sodium back in the blood at these stages, the proximal and distal tubules that we normally would. Does that make sense? Okay, and so, um, so like some of like our our hydrogen and, and things like that, we end up with a, we end up with a decent amount of hydrogen in our urine, um, and so that's going to stay in the kidney. We're not going to transport that out. We're going to keep that in the nephron as for waste. Some amino acids, any medications that we have. Don't know why that popped up. Um, we're going to keep in the kidney. So then we go down to the loop of Henle. The descending limb of the loop of Henle, we pull water out. Basically, and this is well, this is going slightly more complicated, so I'm not going to go real far with it today. But the deeper you go into the nephron, the more concentrated the surrounding tissue is. And in the book, it gives you numbers to kind of illustrate that. But as we go down, we're pulling water out of the nephron. So our solute becomes, our, our concentration becomes greater and greater and greater the deeper we go. Then on the way back up, we pull sodium and chloride, we pull those out. And as we pull those out, our concentration goes back down. So the idea here is, is that's one way, another way to get rid of sodium. When you say deeper in the nephron, do you mean like further down the loop of Henle? Further down the loop of Henle and closer to the um, medulla. The closer to the medulla we get, the more concentrated it gets. There's two, there's two types of nephrons. You just have your basically your regular nephrons and your juxtaglomerular nephrons. The juxtaglomerular ones are a lot deeper. They get there a lot longer and deeper. So the juxtaglomerular apparatus is only on juxtaglomerular nephrons. It's not on the more shallow nephrons. I think of, I, the way I keep that straight, I think of, I don't know, juxtaglomerular sounds to me like you're thrusting something. You're juxt, I don't know, you're thrusting <laughs> it deeper. You're juxtaglomerular, <laughs> juxting it deeper, however you want to think of it. But they're a lot longer. The loop of hand is a lot longer on those. So anyway, we come back up, um, and we have more reabsorption of, like, bicarbonates and solutes. But this is also where we move from reabsorption into secretion. I was going to break these three up and I didn't, but oh well. So secretion is where we do active transport. So up to this point, basically everything has been some either, it's been mainly passive types of transport. With secretion now, we're forcing hydrogen and we're forcing waste products Really, I think of secretion as we're putting waste in. And so we're forcing waste products um, into the nephron. So we're, we're literally pulling hydrogen out of the blood and actively putting it into the nephron. 
So then what we said just secreted, that all collects into the, so secretion isn't necessary, it's not just urinating basically is what I'm getting at. Is it's also that active transport of waste. And then we put it all into the collecting duct and you have urine. Everybody kind of with me so far? So believe it or not, that's a simple version. Um, so in the future, we'll talk about a little bit more, like about ADH and aldosterone, um, and exactly where they work in the kidney. And I'll show you some more pictures of transport and things like that. The book really does a good job of it. So. Hopefully I can get one next time.